All right, Brian comes with Dynamax. Um, today we've got sort of a two for one. We've gotten a lot of uh, requests for people. They don't quite understand how the HDMI matrix works. And the reason we did it is because it gives you so much flexibility to watch what you want on an ATV. And secondly, we had a couple of forum posts where, you know, a couple of people said, well, you should have all smart TVs. You know, you should have this. You, well, frankly, I'm going to show you in a quick step two things, how the HDMI matrix works and also how you can turn every TV into a smart TV for $30 or less. In fact, the one I'm going to show you today was actually free. So um, without further ado, because we can't see up into the cabinet where the matrix is, if your vehicle is equipped with a 4x4 matrix, this is what it is. It's basically really simple. It's four HDMI inputs in, and it's four HDMI outputs. What you can't see is on the back side of this, and we'll try to get you a close-up, is you have input one, two, three, and four. So that's going to be your sources. Typically, we will hook a Blu-ray player or DVD player up to one, and then input two would be your satellite, if you have a satellite, and then three and four are blank. And then on the other side here, you're gonna have output A, B, C, and D, which are basically, consider your outputs the TVs. Each one of these is going to one of your TVs. In this case, we've got three, so output A will typically be the living room TV, output B will be the bedroom TV, output C will be the outside TV, output D would be not used. Now again, sometimes maybe they don't get in the right spot or it comes loose and somebody plugs it back in, maybe the wrong place. That's how they're typically going to be set up. Um, if not, it's pretty easy to figure that out um, using the front. So and again, four inputs, four outputs. That's how the matrix works. And then on the front, each one of these, consider this your TV. Living room TV, bedroom TV, outside TV. And then these will be lit up and then you're basically gonna select what input you want. Do you want the DVD player? Do you want the Blu-ray player? Uh, and these two are gonna be blank. That's pretty much how the HDMI matrix works. Now, the other thing is, someone had said basically, <clears throat> you should have all smart TVs. Well, when you look at it, I had a smart TV, a uh, 50 inch smart TV, and as it got old, the TV was just fine. But Netflix upgraded their software so many times that it no longer ran the newest version of Netflix. So it became painful to try to stream video because it was so slow, the software was glitchy, um, and it was no longer supported. But I'm going to show you today how you can turn every smart or every TV into a smart TV for anywhere from zero dollars to I mean you could spend a hundred for the highest end 4K streaming device. But recently. Uh, we had the Roku ferry come visit us. Basically, there was a motorhome we had parked outside and somehow we misplaced it. And someone thought that maybe it was theirs uh, and took it maybe, I'm assuming, by accident. And when we uh, GPS tracked the vehicle, we went and picked it up. And then inside, lo and behold, was not only one free Roku, but two free Rokus. So for today, I'm gonna show you basically how to hook up a Roku streaming device. Uh, this one, uh, I think on Amazon or something like that is anywhere from $30 to $50. Uh, this one, as I said, was free. It came in the motorhome that was uh, somehow misplaced. So not everything is going to need power. I think Amazon has a streaming stick that just plugs into the HDMI port. Um, some of them might need power. Now I know from looking at the back of the HDMI matrix that input 4 is over here. So I'm going to blindly do this. I'm going to plug in the Roku. And then I'm going to take uh, this connector and just sort of blindly, now this will come out, but I'm going to see if I can do it without pulling it out. Easier said than done. Oh, there we go. Maybe we're going to cut to this. There we go. Okay, so that is in. Our Roku is basically up and running. Now, I put it knowingly into the far left side uh, in the back, so input four. So now I know that input four is the Roku player. So now, right now on our living room TV, 
So if I set output to so the living room TV, I can change that source over to output or input four. I can also do that on all of them. So now what's beautiful, that Roku will now play on every TV. So now we're gonna shoot to the front TV of the living room. Right now it's on TV. And all we're gonna do is change the source. Again, it doesn't really matter where it is. It could be in one, two, three, or four. But if you go down to one, it's obviously not there. You can look at two, and there you go. So now we see the Roku, uh, it's picking up a signal there. Although, I think the Roku timed out. Okay, so there's the Roku now up on TV one. So you could be watching TV or anything else that you want, and uh, on this TV, something else on the other. But now let's go shoot to the back TV. And same thing. Just power this up, and that same feed should be coming here as well. Right now it's on HDMI 3. We're going to source that back to HDMI 2. Typically the DVD player is going to plug in one, and there you go. So now you can see it's playing on the bedroom TV as well, and that also means we can do the exact same thing and set it up on the outside TV. Now heading back up front, I'll show you one more thing. Now, right now we have no internet connection, it's not connected, but I'm just going to hotspot my phone. Um, and I had hooked this up earlier, but I'm going to turn on personal hotspot, which is now set up. And we should be connected. And there we are. I'm now hotspotted on my phone, so that's where I'm getting the internet. And if we go back to home, uh, we can either hit the Netflix button, and this is a newer Roku, so it's got Disney Plus on there, uh, Netflix and Hulu. So now, you can either hit the Netflix button, or you can just go over to the uh, Netflix controller. And now this again is hotspotted with my phone. This will allow us to then stream Netflix. And the one thing is, uh, this is not only uh, doing this on the, f the living room TV, but for that same device, it's also streaming on the uh, bedroom TV, and it could be also streaming on the outside TV. And here is uh, whoever thought that uh, our coach was theirs. And you can go in, and again, just like anything else, you can do the same thing uh, with this Roku for, for any streaming service. And again, that's how you can make every TV smart uh, with just one single device and also a little bit about the HDMI matrix. Again, if there's any other questions, comments, concerns that you don't understand or would like to see, then please reach out to us on Facebook or on the retail forums, and we'll do our best to sort of clarify uh, how it all works.